so I've got a bit of a small problem here. For me, one of the main attractions of buying a Tesla was the idea that I could simply summon the vehicle and it would use all the fancy cameras on board to drive itself out or park itself into my garage. As you can see, there's not much space in my garage. The opening measures just 225 centimeters, and according to Tesla's website, the width of my Model 3, excluding mirrors, is 185 centimeters, which leaves around 20 cm on either side of the vehicle. As of May 2024, the summon feature is still not available on vision only vehicles. However, I still hold on to the hope that it'll be released soon. My thinking is that if I can park the car reliably with just my own two eyes, why can't the car also go through the exact same steps, check the exact same angles, but just with that added level of precision? Let me show you my usual routine. I always reverse park when driving this car. At least for now, it's hard to fully trust the front cameras. The blind spot cameras are also a little small and hard to see on screen, so I usually just use the voice command, unfold mirrors, and look at it that way. Due to the hedge on the right, I have no choice but to reverse at a slight angle. Check the left mirror to make sure there's still a gap, then the right. Fold mirrors. And that's it. Pretty simple. The question is, could the car theoretically do the same maneuver using Tesla Vision? Right off the bat, it can pretty much see the outlines of my garage door. Based on this and the blind spot cameras, the car should be able to conclude that it's safe to proceed. Here are the measurements of the space around the car versus what the visualization on screen shows me. It does detect a few small items in the garage as well, such as the tripod and some boots. However, there are some areas of concern. Immediately, in small spaces you get this warning that the park assist is degraded, and the lack of a front bumper camera means that it'll always be hard to see if the car is fully in the garage or not. For reference, I actually put my GoPro on the front bumper to see what additional info it would capture. Take a look for yourselves. I've owned the car for roughly a month now and upon reflection, I don't know if I'd actually be able to fully trust Tesla Vision even if it was released tomorrow. When I think of why, well, it's got everything to do with the perceived reliability of this technology. And the main culprit might actually be these fancy visualizations on screen. You see, they're super cool to look at, and I'm constantly amazed at how much the car is able to see around me. But it also occasionally acts as a reminder that there's still work to be done. I can see the car taking its time to figure things out in real time, but maybe just a little slower than I'm comfortable with. That difference between what I see and what the car is seemingly unaware of would be the first barrier to overcome before I can fully trust Tesla Vision. Tesla is confident in its strategy and I can only wait patiently for Summon and Auto Park to be made available again. For now, I picked up a few rolls of this car door protector that you stick onto the garage walls. Hopefully, it'll at least stop me from scratching the doors if I ever open them too far. Let me know if you want to see a short video on the installation or the final product. And this concludes my experience with Tesla Vision so far. This is no means a critique of the car, but just a reflection of where it's currently at. By the way, it was super cool to see all your comments on my last video. I'm not sure how many of you will be back to see this, but a big thank you for tuning in. I've got big plans for this channel, so do subscribe if you're interested in more content like this. Let me know in the comments your experience with Tesla Vision, and I'll see you in the next video.